Hello and welcome back to Cryptolenium. This morning, inflation numbers came out, and let me tell you, I am fired up. So without further ado, please like and subscribe, and let's dig into this. Now waking up, you might ask yourself, why is Bitcoin and the rest of the markets pumping? Well, the answer is simple. Inflation numbers came out better than expected. With core inflation dropping to 6.3 after topping out at 6.6%. And general inflation numbers dropping from 8.3% down to 77 when the market was expecting more like 8%. We can take a look at this graph. This is United States core inflation, which is arguably more important than normal inflation. Now, the reason for this is because the Fed looks at this more closely to make their decisions. As you can see, we topped out at about 6.6% for the September reading for dropping 0.3%. Now, the forecast was that the core CPI was going to come out higher. And so for this to come out a little bit lower, significantly lower than what the forecast was, is awesome news and is encouraging news that the Fed's efforts are working to fight inflation and hopefully curb it for this cycle. As we can see with regular inflation, 7.7% from 8.2 last month. Now, if we take a look, the forecast was to drop to 8.1%. So the market did believe it was going to go down a bit, but not this significantly. As we know, Facebook laid off 11,000 or 13% of its workforce yesterday, which could have been a good move ahead of this for them, for the rest of the market, because hopefully all the damage has been done. It's unlikely that the damage has been done, but hopefully we can... Uh, we could have some hopium this morning. To continue on, U.S. consumer inflation eased to 7.7 .7 over past 12 months. This author wrote, consumer inflation reached 7.7 .7 from an earlier, from a year earlier. And the reason they talk about this is they're more comparing October to October versus month by month where we're looking at the case by case basis and what is happening up front even with last month's tentative easing of inflation the federal reserve is widely expected to keep raising rates to try to stem persistent high price increases but thursday's better than expected data raised the possibility that the fed could decide to slow its rate hikes a prospect that sent stock prices jumping immediately after the government issued the figures a few hours ago, about three hours ago now. We expect this to mark the start of a much longer disinflationary trend that we think will convince the Fed to halt its hikes. Earlier next year, said Paul Ashworth, chief North American economist at Capital Economists, a consulting firm. With supply shortages normalizing, deflationary pressure is now finally showing up. Some economists even suggested that the latest inflation data shows that the hikes are beginning to achieve their goal, though the Fed needs to see further evidence. So what does this mean for further rate hikes? Well, we were expecting a 0.5 basis or 0.5 point rate hike in December with a little bit of possibility that we would touch 0.75% one last time as far as, as far as a rate hike. I believe this increases the likelihood of a lower rate hike next month, although I do foresee them uh, continuing to raise rates throughout 2023, or at least the first half. With that said, people are thinking peak inflation. CNN Business wrote inflation cools much more than expected in October. And the market skyrocketed on the news. Dow futures surging by more than 800 points on hopes the Fed would dial back its aggressive rate hikes. Now, it's too soon to assume that they will, but this is more encouraging than what we would have assumed yesterday. 
While Fed Chair Jerome Powell said earlier this month that the central bank has some ways to go in its battle to tame inflation, sentiment is clearly growing that the Fed may be able to tap the brakes ever so slightly. Fed Fund's futures are now pricing at nearly 80% chance of a half-point increase at the Fed December policymaking meeting, smaller than the three-quarters of a percent point increases that the Fed has announced previous four meetings. Peak inflation? On a monthly basis, prices rose about 0.4%. That's on par with the previous month's increase in prices. Economists were anticipating a monthly figure to the monthly figure to grow, given energy prices marched upward in October amid a move by OPEC to slash oil production and ongoing uncertainty in Russia's war in Ukraine. Now, this is something to note. Russia's war in Ukraine could be an outlier that may cause further pain down the road. So there's something to keep your eye on, keep in mind. Month to month, core CPI increased 0.3%. It had logged monthly increases of 0.6% in both August and October. This period of high inflation is likely reaching an inflection point, said Joe Brusalis, chief economist at RSM. I expect the Fed to lift the policy rate by 50 basis points at its December meeting. The supersized rate hikes are likely now in the rearview mirror. This is a big statement. This is a very big statement, and uh, hopefully it means something. Year over year, shelter prices are up 6.9%. Food prices are up 10.9%. Energy prices 176 and according to the data from Bureau of Labor Statistics. Costs for staples such as eggs up 43%, bread 15 and milk 14%. So prices are still up, but hopefully we'll see them coming down. As far as crypto goes, ETH you can see is now pumping. The day looks strong. The four hour looks strong. And hopefully we can see some real big bounce backs. Solana up significantly this morning with about a 32% jump from yesterday. That's awesome news. That's great for Solana. And hopefully Solana's association with FTX can decrease as we proceed. NASDAQ up 5.93%. So as you can see, everything is having a heyday. S&P 500, Dow Jones, looking strong, looking real strong in the four hours. And so something to keep watching. Last but not least, Bitcoin dominance is showing strength. What does this mean? Well, as we spoke on this in the previous video from yesterday, keep an eye out on your favorite altcoins because as Bitcoin dominance increases and the momentum from last night's or yesterday's aggressive dip starts to decrease, you may see your favorite altcoins bottom out a little bit more over the next few weeks or maybe even months. So food for thought. If you're holding the bag and you're not buying Bitcoin, might be uh might be good to still hold on to that bag until we are more sure of where we're headed. This has been Cryptolenium for this day's brief morning video covering CPI numbers. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.